What's up everybody out there? This is, uh, I don't even know what to call myself anymore. I'm having an identity crisis. But uh, this video is for Urban Armed. I'm gonna help them out a little bit since I decided to go in a different direction with my YouTube, whatever, career, persona, I don't know. It doesn't make any money, so it's not a career. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I've been working on for quite a while. It's, uh, it's an idea that I came across uh, when I was researching gun safes. Gun safes are very expensive if you're going to get something that is worth having. So in that search, I ran across this idea of concealing your guns instead of trying to secure them. And here's what I came up with for myself. This is a Pepsi machine, a vintage Pepsi machine, somewhere uh, circa 1985. I got this off Craigslist for about $40, and <clears throat> let's crack it open and take a look inside. So, I'll open up the key here. So, this is your standard T-lock on a vending machine. So, you have to unscrew it, and once it's unscrewed, it opens up. And what do we have inside? Oh, that's nasty. Obviously, there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. Removing all of this stuff. And on top of that, cleaning it out. But there's a lot of potential here. In addition to that, there's another area that can be used on these machines. This is the door. This is a refrigerated machine, obviously, so this is an insulated door. And down here we have some extra storage space, actually. I noticed when I bought this thing, if you open this up, there's some storage space in the door that can be utilized. And in addition to that, got some money here. So instead of costing me $40, it's more like $35. Eh, that's not bad. That's cool. Those of you who used to watch me on Gun Expert know that I have made a lot more progress than this. This is actually the second machine I've bought uh, to work on, and I'm going to show you the first one now. Uh, looks a little different. This project here is nearly complete. This is almost the same machine as the other one. Uh, slightly different, but basically the same, especially on the inside. So we pop this thing open. And let me take you for a quick tour on the inside. So as you can see, it's carpeted, has a gun rack, has lights that work on a remote control, and it's quite nice, I must say. Very proud of this. Very excited about the way it turned out. Got space underneath here for ammo or gun cases, things like that. It can fit 10 guns. The main problem with this thing is it's not very big. And so hunting rifles and things like that are just not gonna fit in here. I was able to fit a 20 inch AR-15 with a fixed stock, as well as a Remington 870, 18 and a half inch. Over here, I have the door with carpet on it, which uh, Velcro works very well on it. And if you come back up here, we open it up. There's only one thing I left, left I need to do on here, which is to finish the lock, the locking mechanism. So if I open this up here, if I crack this open here, you can see I have a place to store handguns. A total of five racks for handguns. Very convenient. Now this would be right on the other side of the Pepsi machine sign. So as you can see, very cool. I purposely left a few things looking the way they were, specifically the uh, spot where the sodas come out, I left that dirty and I did not do anything or improve the section here where the signs are. The reason I did that is because I wanted to maintain look and feel 
uh, on the outside of some kind of a project and not make it look like a complete finished gun safe. The idea here, of course, is to maintain a discreet look so that there's no indication that there's something valuable inside. So on the outside, not much improvement. I did nothing to repaint, fix up anything on the outside. Whoever ends up buying this uh, could go ahead and do whatever they wanted to to make it look nice, but I intentionally left it the way it is so that it would not be enticing to a criminal. But once you open it up, you can see it's quite dramatic um, and I think very, very cool. A couple other features here. I could change the color scheme of the lights with this remote, which I think is kind of cool. And I can do things like fade or blink. I think this is a really cool little project. I plan to do more of them. I wanted to do a video showing the before and after and luckily was able to pick up another machine. This one's almost done and will be ready for sale here pretty soon. I don't know what I'm going to ask for it, but uh, I'm definitely going to make it worth my time. I spent a lot of time on this and I think it's worth it. So, love to see your feedback, support for Urban Arm channel. If you want to check out my channel, it's Guns For Everyone on uh, YouTube, Guns For Everyone on Facebook, Guns For Everyone on Instagram and Twitter. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and as always, stay frosty, bitches.